Why do animals build huge muscles without training, while humans have to work out constantly? Take the western silverback gorilla in a zoo. All it does is eat and sleep, yet it develops bulging, sinewy muscles and perfectly flowing muscle lines. By contrast, if a human wants to get that muscular, they have to live in the gym lifting weights, day in and day out, downing protein shakes, even risking performance-enhancing drug sand. After two years, you might see only modest gains and face the risk of steroids-related health issues. Even so, human strength records pale next to a gorilla's natural power. The world record for a human deadlift is 501 kilograms. A grown gorilla could casually hoist 800 kilograms legend has it won once squared off against two T-Rex. Or consider the kangaroo at an Australian wildlife park. Even in captivity, with limited exercise, its muscles remain perfectly sculpted, powerful enough to crush a metal barrel with its bare hands. Farm animals like cattle and horses, left to roam pastures, also develop sturdy physiques, whereas sedentary humans shrivel without training. What's the reason? Fundamentally, it comes down to different genetic stat builds. Most vertebrates carry a gene for myostatin, a protein that negatively regulates muscle growth to keep it from running wild. In humans, however, that myostatin system is especially active. Our big energy-hungry brain gobbles calories think how famished you are after a couple of math lectures versus how alert you feel after scrolling social media for hours. Extra muscle means a higher basal metabolic rate, which would starve the brain of fuel. So evolution tuned humans to limit muscle growth. Our cells secrete abundant myostatin to restrain muscles. By contrast, animals like gorillas, kangaroos, cattle, and horses have no such high demand organ. Their myostatin genes are less active. In kangaroos, the gene is mutated so its function is weakened. So even without exercise, they grow huge muscles. Belgian blue cattle are an extreme example. A natural myostatin defect lets them pack on muscle until adults weigh three tons. Among humans, only a rare few carry myostatin mutations that make them genetic muscle heads. The rest must rely on weight training. You tear muscle fibers under load, then supply protein so they rebuild thicker. That deliberate damage and repair cycle works, but you must keep training to maintain size or muscles waste away and stiffen. Another key point, when humans invented tools, we shifted from ambush hunting to endurance hunting chasing prey until it tires. Endurance relies on lean muscles, not bulky power fibers. Sprinters have big muscles for bursts. Marathoners stay slim. By favoring stamina over brute strength plus storing fat to survive, famine humans evolved relatively high body fat and moderate muscle mass. Even pigs on a farm, lazing about and never pumping iron, maintain lower body fat than people. So why do many animals get huge muscles without exercise? It's simply that their genes emphasize muscle growth, while ours emphasize brain energy and endurance. We envy gorillas their effortless strength, they envy our brains. Each species is optimized for its own survival strategy.